On July 23rd at the Village Center of Larchmont, tons of people came together to listen to the informational meeting about the new affordable Pine Brook condominiums. This is an opportunity to buy a house at a cheaper price, but your income qualifications aren't enough. A lottery will choose who will get to live there. The buildings are Tudor-style stucco buildings meant to fit in with the fabric and community of the village. Two of them, and the development consists of 51 homes. There will be 10 one-bedroom homes and 41 two-bedroom homes. For the taxes, for the one-bedroom, it's 240 to 280 a month. And the two-bedroom, 285 to 420, based on the square footage. The common charges range from one-bedroom, 195 to $230 and the two-bedroom from $235 to $420. But that's just the taxes. The total price of one bedroom ranges from $155,000 to $170,000, and the two bedrooms range from $215,000 to $241,200. But what are the qualifications to live here? How much money do you need to be considered for the application process? Uh, the guidelines that we follow are our HUD guidelines that determine the maximum household income that a person can have in order to apply here. And it's based on a percentage of the Westchester County median income, which is approximately 103,000, and we look at 80% of that. So it's, a, it's approximately eight, eight, in the high 80,000s as the maximum income for a family of four. I mean, I think it's a great idea for the, for you know what they're doing, but for us is a little disappointing because it's not like we make we don't make that much, but we make too much for this, but then we don't make enough to have a home like a, a regular home here in Larchmont. What do you do? What would you do with the middle class? I mean, a lot of people came here today, but they left because they didn't fit the requirements. You know, that what that uh, that is the that's the big problem in all of this is that. Uh, the way it's been set up is that uh, you are totally out of the game if you exceed 80% of the average salary. And so for a family of four, it's just under $84,000. Well, there are a lot of people who really need housing that make more than that. And they, they ought to, and God bless them. Where are they in this mix? If you're considering applying, remember this important information. If you're a single person, you're only allowed to apply for one bedroom. Your income limit must be $58,100. If you're a family of four, your maximum income cannot exceed $83,000. We look at all sources of income. So if, if a, a family has members who earn income from overtime, that income is, is counted. And in some cases, that may put them over the maximum income, income limit. Um, we also uh, look at debt um, because most, most of the families who buy here will secure a mortgage, probably all, all of them. And when you have high debt, it affects the amount that you borrow. So if, if a person has a car loan, a student loan, recurring credit card debt, um, it may exceed 5 to 8 percent of their household income. In that case, it's going to force down the size mortgage they can afford, and it may not be achievable for them. I would like my daughter, who is a student and works full-time, is a great opportunity to stay in Westchester to keep our young people here. It's September 24th for those that weren't here tonight, and the lottery is September 30th. We're looking forward. We have great interest so far, and we hope to continue to see great interest over the summer. Um, the lottery probably will be here, and we're looking forward to it. The buildings will be ready about a year from now. Uh, the information's on the t website dedicated to this development, pinebrookcondominium.com, and on Housing Action Council's website, housingactioncouncil.org, correct? Housingactioncouncil.org. What does affordable housing mean to you? Realistically, it's not perfect, but it's still an opportunity for some who wouldn't have the chance otherwise. For The Local Live, I'm Kyle Byrne.